Okay, we've got Eddie Cleanhead Vincent coming up, and this set will probably help answer the question whether Cleanhead Vincent is one of the premier blues vocalists in the country or one of the real keepers of Charlie Parker's alto saxophone flame. And actually, I think we don't have to ask the question, Dick, because he's both. Oh, he has that blues soul from the Southwest. The, uh, I don't know where the home of the blues really is, but I know that blues developed and matured in the Southwest, and it seemed like everybody from Kansas City can do that thing. Of course, Clean Head is from Houston, and of all the great big sound saxophonists, uh, blues saxophonists who come from Houston. Well, Clean Head Vincent, um, interestingly enough, uh, people who have seen him, he's got a real youthful uh, swagger and appearance on stage, but he's been in the business a lot longer than people would think. He was with Cootie Williams' big band back in uh, the very early 40s, and, and interestingly enough, this is the big band that first introduced Bud Powell to a wider audience. This is the band that Cootie Williams formed not too long after leaving Duke, and then not too long after that, having left Benny Goodman's ensemble. You know, Linda, you mentioned the youthful appearance of uh, Eddie Cleanhead Vincent, and I'm still standing here back in the wings as David Schumacher and some of the other members of the new Hope Septet are talking with Eddie Cleanhead. Certainly the wonderful suit he's got on tonight helps, but uh, it's that clean head that makes him look so young. <laughs> and, and we're going to talk with Eddie in a little while after his set tonight, and he has promised to reveal the secret and origins of his clean head. You want to tell us who's going to be there with him, uh, Linda? Well, Eddie Cleanhead Vincent has got a really fine group of Chicago musicians with him on this set. Sonny Turner is the trumpeter, and he's got one of the big sounds in the city. John Young piano, George Hughes drums, Eddie DeHaas the bassist. But the thing you should uh, plan to listen for is the empathy between Eddie Cleanhead Vincent and pianist John Young, because John is one of the real blues masters in the city. He's one of the more sophisticated jazz players on the keyboard, but uh, he's got a real blues sensibility in his playing, and I'm sure he's going to poke through this. Looks like they're getting things together. John is getting up again and uh, just checking the piano. Here comes Harriet Choice on stage to introduce the group. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have come in late, I'm Harriet Choice from the Chicago Tribune and a founder of the Jazz Institute of Chicago. I'd like to remind all of you that at the north end of the park is a yellow and white striped tent. There's a beautiful exhibit there and it's open from 11 in the morning until 11 in the evening, and it's called Memories of Chicago Jazz. One of the memories that's dearest to all Chicago musicians and to members of the Jazz Institute is Don DeMichael. Don DeMichael was a drummer and a vibes player here in Chicago. He was president of the Jazz Institute, and he was the program director and the man who got this festival started. Don died last February 4th, and we miss him, all of us. We honor him. He was one of the best friends this music has ever had. But we also celebrate him, and this is our way of doing it. I can't think of any more appropriate way of celebrating Don than a heavy dose of the blues. And so, on trumpet and flugelhorn, Mr. Sonny Turner, On piano, John Young. On bass, Eddie DeHaas. On drums, George Hughes. And for some wonderful Texas blues, on alto and vocal, Mr. Eddie Cleanhead Vincent.
Folks call me Mr. Clean Head. Get me called my head and ball. Folks call me Mr. Clean Head. Just be called my head and ball. But with the stuff that I use, I don't need no at all. If it wasn't for you women, I'd have my credit locks today. If it wasn't for you women, I'd have my curly locks today. But I've been hugged, kissed, and petted till all my hair was rubbed away. When it starts to get wet up, my head gets kind of cold. Try to grow a little hair, but I can't to save my soul. When it comes to getting summer, I get such a pretty tan. You can hear all the women holler, where can I find that clean head man? Yes, they call me Mr. Clean Head. Cause I've been born a long, long time. But I don't need to worry. You get yours, and brother, you know I'll get mine. I'd like to uh, do a one of, of uh, bags. Everybody will play. Bags crew.
run here. Pretty mama. Sit down on your daddy's knee. I'm going to tell everybody how you've been sending me. Mama, if that's your secret, you better keep it to yourself. Cause if you tell me I'm out Tell somebody else I never love And I hope I never will Cause it's loving proposition It's gonna get somebody killed She got great big legs And she built up from the ground Every time she kissed me, ooh, Lord, my love comes tumbling down. Take me, pretty mama, chump me in your big breast bed. Rock me, mama, till my face turns cherry red, cherry red. Bye. to do another blues number. I had the pleasure of recording with the uh, Cannon, Cannonball Adley Quintet. We call this Hold It Right There. I may need some backup singers so you know when they're coming in anyway. Baby, 
Wait a minute, baby. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Whoa, whoa, don't you go nowhere. I love you, baby, like a root dog loves his corn. I love you, baby, like a root dog loves his corn. Been in love with you, baby, ever since I was born. Whoa, wait a minute, baby. Wait a minute, baby. Thank 
you, Becca. Thank you, Becca. She said good morning. That woman asked me for my check. Well, I'm just a little porter. When I ride on that track. Well, I'll be morning, baby. Your daddy's gonna double back. Put my arms around her. I'm so glad to be back home. Cause I hadn't had no loving all the time that I was gone. She said, I'm so sorry, Daddy. Expect you better make another run. The doctor said to take it easy. Cause I've been having too much fun. Well, I'm just a robot. What a be morning, baby. Your daddy's gonna double back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see we have a lot of old folks out here. <laughs> we have a treat in store.
This is one of my 1947 hits. We call this Old Kitty.
how about, how about a hand for all these wonderful Chicago musicians up there? Well, Jimmy Young is gonna play number. He played with everybody in the world. Here he is.
Don't write me no letter. Don't even telephone. I need you. Person to person. Bring your big, fine, foxy cell phone home. Don't send me no message. You know I'm all alone. I need you. Person to person. Bring your big, fine, foxy cell phone home. Ain't no use to telephone me. I can't love no telephone. All the time you're telephoning, you could be coming home. Ain't no use to send no letter. I can't hug no paper tight. There ain't no use to send no message. It can't talk to me at night. There ain't no use to send your brother. I ain't gonna talk to no one else. There ain't no use to send your mother. You just got to come yourself, little girl. I've suffered each day. Since you've been gone, I need you, person to person. Bring your big, fine, foxy, frantic, freakish, fuck, I mean, farm fitting cell phone. I'm trying to do a lot of requests now, which is kind of unusual. But I'll, I'll try to acknowledge as many as I can.
Well, the crowd wanted more from Eddie Vincent, but uh, we're running on a tight schedule here, and there are a lot of acts to follow. You're listening to live coverage of Mayor Byrne's Chicago Cool Jazz Festival, presented by Chicagoland Public Radio. We'll pause now for 10 seconds, allow our affiliate stations all across the country to identify themselves. You're tuned to Chicagoland Public Radio at 91.5 FM, WBEZ, Chicago. It was a blues-loving crowd here in Chicago, and uh, Eddie Vincent really got him stirred up. Matter of fact, he had a standing ovation. And, uh, you know, Linda, it, <laughs> the blues really gets to him. Uh, of course, I think with that rhythm section, I could have sung the blues out there. Well, one of the things I was talking about before was uh, John Young's real empathy for the blues. Uh, John is considered one of Chicago's most technically sophisticated and harmonically uh, impressive players but he can get down. He is a very basic player in settings such as this. I've heard him in, in settings with some of the more sophisticated bebop and modern jazz players, but I think his real heart is in the blues. As a matter of fact, John and Eddie DeHaas, the bassist, are going to be going over right now. I think they've got a limousine waiting to take them over to uh, perform with Joe Williams, who is in town throughout this week at Rick's Cafe in the Chicago Loop area. But it was an obviously well-received set and a set of standards in Eddie Cleanhead Vincent's repertoire. And one of the things that I was noticing about him is that in addition to his gifts as an improviser and a blues shouter, he's a real masterful entertainer. You could see the yeah. empathy that he established with also, the audience and the musicians on stage. Didn't it appear to you that the program, he was following requests. People were yelling out tunes they wanted to hear, and uh, they knew the Eddie Vincent repertoire. They yelled him out, and he played them. Well, you could hear that the audience was responding uh, very enthusiastically to that set. You also could hear that they were very disappointed that there was no encore this evening. Larry Smith is out there in the field. Larry, how does it look from your perspective? Magnificent. I tell you, the moon is blue. Make it the sky is blue and the moon is full. And believe me, there are approximately 18,000 screaming jazz fans here who obviously got what they came for. Good music. And I keep saying that Chicago jazz is more than a sound. It's an attitude. Hip, hot, heavy, and healing. How do you feel about a young lady? My sentiments exactly. What is your name? Charlene Woodard. Where are you from? I'm from New York City. You came a long way to enjoy yourself, didn't you? Chicago star. I did. I was looking forward to this whole thing. I wanted to see Roscoe Mitchell, and, I, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing um, Miles Davis on Sunday. Just keep coming, and you'll see all of that. Thank you so much. Lots of luck to you. And one more reaction here, sir. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, real good. And are you pleased? Yeah, I'm pleased. And on that note, we go back to Neil. Here in the, Neil Tesser in the Musician's Lounge, down in the basement of the Petrillo Band Show, where this jazz festival is taking place. And uh, I'm talking here with Eddie Cleanhead Vincent, sitting in his, uh, in his dressing room with him, and uh, the, the little paperwork problems that we're going to talk over in a few minutes, I think, with some of the other organizers of the festival. Eddie, you really had that crowd on its feet? with uh, the sound in their throats. It, it was surprising, you know, because I didn't know the kids was going to uh, like the blues, but they, they seemed to like them, you know. They seemed to love them. Uh, they were talking earlier on the uh, other side of the stage, Dick Buckley and Linda Prince, about uh, your unique stance in the blues and jazz. And in fact, uh, one of the people who is down here, Dan Morgenstern, a noted jazz authority, yeah, who was the MC last night, said Eddie Vincent sings the blues and plays jazz alto saxophone. Does that does that help start to sum it up? Well, I, I hope that's. I hope I can do. You know, I, I hope one complements the other. You know, I hope. You know. Well, I think I think there was no question of that tonight in the minds of all these people out here. You promised me earlier when I uh, caught up with you before you went on stage oh, that you yeah. would tell me that the honest to gosh actual live story of the clean head that makes you Eddie Cleanhead Vincent. I mean, I'm standing right next to you, and, and it's bald. It's smooth as a rock, as a baby's bottom, and not an ounce of hair on it. How did it get that way, and how do you keep it that way? Years ago, there was a, you know, we used to use conch on our hair, and I put lye, and it took all my hair, and, and that was 1939. It's for your, your brothers and other people. And I seed it off to let it, and the broads liked it, man, so I just kept going. <laughs> so this was a reaction to uh, the female persuasion, is that what you're saying? You mentioned 1939, and back in those years, uh, you, you were working with Cootie Williams. Well, uh, 39, I was with the Milton Larkin Band down in Texas. I joined Cootie in um, 42. 
And at that time, there was a, a young pianist in that band, wasn't there? Bud Powell joined us, and uh, Lockjaw, and Vest Powell, a bunch of good people that you met. And that's a good 40 years ago, so you've certainly seen the spectrum. Sorry, Eddie just made a, a very uh, admonishing face when I mentioned 40 years. <laughs> thanks, for, uh, thanks for joining us on, on this broadcast, Eddie Cleanhead, Vince. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Thank you very much.